Today, we take a look at several tools you can use to measure your fence layout. Hey everyone, Jason from Iron Fence Shop. While we will calculate the materials list for your fence project, the one thing we do need from you is a good layout sketch of your fence line with measurements. So today, I wanted to show you three options for measuring your fence layout. A tape measure, a measuring wheel, and technology. While a total footage and gate count can get you a ballpark idea on cost, drawing up your fence layout is the only way to ensure a 100% accurate cost and materials list. It shows us where everything needs to fit and helps us minimize waste for you. Here are a couple examples of layout sketches. As you can see, they don't need to be anything fancy or high-end. Just clear and concise with measurements and gate placement details. Anytime your fence line meets a gate, it angles, it curves, it starts to slope, or it makes a turn, you want to stop and start a new measurement. Even if your fence is a straight line with a gate, we need to know the gate width and fence measurement on each side of it. When sending us measurements, we recommend rounding up to a full foot unless we're trying to fit in a confined area such as between buildings, walls, or columns. So if your run measures 14 feet 4 inches, round up to 15 feet. Let's start simple with a good old tape measure. These are cheap and you'll likely have one hanging around in your house somewhere already. If your fence project isn't too large, these are a great and simple option. I'd use at least a 25 foot long tape. If you need to go further than the length of your tape, simply drop a marker or put a stake and then start measuring from there again. If you need to do this to get your total fence run measurement, just be sure to add up all your sections to one number on the drawing. So if you had to pull the tape out 25 feet two times and then 11 feet to finish for one run or leg, add that up to 61 feet for that line on your layout. If you display it as 25 feet, 25 feet, 11 feet, we may think that you have a step or grade change that really isn't there. Next up is a measuring wheel or walking wheel. You can usually find these in home stores or online pretty easily. As the name implies, you walk the wheel where the fence line goes, and as you walk along, it starts adding up the footage. Simply start your run at zero and begin walking. As you go along, you will see the measurements start adding up. Once you come to the end of a run or your gate, mark the measurement on your layout sketch, then zero out or reset the counter and start measuring your next run. Our last layout sketch measuring tool is technology. This could range from Google Maps to free apps on your phone to devices that pair with your phone. There are a ton of different ones out there available. These allow you to have your phone calculate your runs based on your GPS location or proprietary methods within the app or tools they provide. One note on the smartphone apps. The technology measuring tools are cool, but they can vary in quality and won't typically get you down to super exact measurements especially if you're measuring something smaller like a patio or garden. What they are good for is getting general numbers to start the process of getting a quote. While we'd recommend a physical measurement with tape or wheel before ordering, if you want to go the technology route, be sure to read the reviews on the accuracy of the app. You'll find most are only good for general measurements and projects like this. Hopefully this video has helped show you some tools at your disposal to help get us a layout measurement for your project. Be sure to check us out here at ironfenceshop.com. Want more details on why we need a layout sketch and not a total footage from you to get an accurate materials quote? Check out this video we did. If you have any other questions, you can shoot us an email at sales at ironfenshop.com or give us a call at 800-261-2729. We look forward to hearing from you.